So today, I want to tell you a story. The story of clickable objects, simulations, colors, and advanced styling. These four things have changed many things about Desmos and the graphs the community makes today. Now first, you may be wondering what I'm even talking about. So there is this console command, which when used in the console gives you access to many things. It gave you access to colors before the update was out. It gives you access to a styling text, for example. It also gives you the ability to click functions inside graphs. And finally, it allows for a usage of simulations. And what are simulations? Well, they allow to define recursive functions and then also generate lists. And that is very powerful. With simulations, you can make whole physics simulations, game engines, Turing machines, and so, so, so much more. And all of that started with a fish. So at the time, I was interested in like some Easter eggs or secrets because I saw some stuff on the Reddit that was interesting. And I was also interested in what else can Desmos do. And I was looking through the API and I was playing around with the API and the stuff that it talked about. And then I noticed that there is a settings object and it doesn't quite match up with what's in the API. And I found that really interesting. And so I checked through all the things that were different, that were documented. And I found the clickable objects and the advanced styling. I got so excited. Oh my gosh, it was, it was so, so crazy. I had so much adrenaline at the time and I saw how everybody else was limited and not having uh, dynamic colors, the simulations. And I actually, I found it and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have to share this with the rest of the world because I knew that everybody else would be so hyped about this. And I, that's when I joined the Discord. Yeah, everybody got online and it, it was amazing. And I made a few cool things. I made like a color picker in Desmos. That was really cool because, and this is the first time you could ever have a color that is influenced by a slider. And then I made Langton's Ant, which Desmos was kind of already Turing complete, but Dan the Langton's Ant made it 100% Turing complete. And on the community side of things, I've seen so many amazing graphs using these things. It's just crazy. Physics simulations are so much better now. Animations. I don't understand Desmos's development schedule or anything they really do. Well, a lot of them are really, a lot of the functions, there's a lot of really buggy functions. The, the mod function doesn't work in a simulation and that's really annoying, basically. I found the thing and then I made an extension just to automatically run it. The extension which you can of course find in a description. Want. 